pace with that movement speed. So that is a oh, way, a solution. What? That is a Granger though. That's it's a Granger jungler for Philippines for Del Rosario. And they are going to play two support and two marks main at the same time. Wow, Philippines. This is something special, something we haven't seen. And if any team can make it work, I think it's the Philippines. If, because right now, yeah. with this composition, if you don't pay attention to your positioning and your formation when you're moving around the map, uh -huh. it's going to be very, very dangerous for these squishy marksmen, right? Yeah. So the Philippines are well known to be able to do that, to position well, to kite back or chase very efficiently and very calculatively. So I think this is a great opportunity for us to see if this this composition, this strategy can actually work out. And especially I really like that Granger pick for uh, Philippines because oh. we know Granger, they ha he has um, enough beast damage actually, the basic damage in the early, so it can right. give a little bit pressure. Maybe it cannot, not 100% can shut uh, down the member of Slovenia in the early game, but at least it can give more poke damage. So. It will make some time for Slovenia to just recall and going back to the base. We'll have to see, will the Granger poke way too hard for Slovenia to deal with? Ladies and gentlemen, back into the land of dawn between Slovenia and the Philippines. Will the Philippines get their redemption or will Slovenia actually overturn the odds? Let's get straight into it, Momo-chan. Let's go and look at that Fila Luna. Play a little bit aggressive Ooh. here with the frame shot that comes from that Diggy. But unfortunately, Phila Luna is still able to survive. Not quite enough, but very low. The HP bars from Villa Luna, that shows the aggression that Slovenia is willing to bring to the table. But right here, we have a bit of a skirmish already. Aggressive moves from Dapadap, -dap, and he is being punished for it. Although with the current situation, I think it's going to be a bit difficult. Rodel Rosario, though, on this Granger, as you mentioned, Momo Chan, mm -hmm. the base damage definitely gives him an edge in the early game clear. And I think that will amount to a bit of an EXP advantage if we get all the way to the late game. Oh, yes. You know, it reminds me with the two marksman meta, like the old times. Good I old think times. like I think like season, I don't know, MPL season. Five, six? Five? I think four, maybe? Four, even. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it was very long time already, but we will see. The Philippines, they Ooh. are very, very confident with this strategy and Boni needs to go back with the... Oh, Desonata actually yes. sets up that kill and they're not done just yet. Four members right under the turret and Boni will be the main target and he will get taken out. This is the Philippines with the superior rotations, having four against one, uncharacteristically, but the turtle seems to be targeted by Slovenia instead. Yeah, I think uh, Slovenia, they want to get this. They have to get this uh, turtle though. Meanwhile, oh, pada, da, pada, it's gonna be the target that can be taken down by Slovenia. Because he tried to contest it, one versus three. Tries to make the outplay happen there from Dap Dap, but it won't be enough. The purple buff gets taken away by the Philippines as well. So now, they have a lot more options to play around and the jungle pick for the side of Slovenia is going to struggle quite a bit. But look at the damage coming in. That is a lot of oh. damage and it will be secured as well. Pure aggression coming in from the side of the Philippines. Yes, the dead Sonata almost eat Clyde alive, but Clyde's still able to survive and still able to recall going back to the base right now and try to reset it everything. Meanwhile, Dupadup, I think he needs to, you know, trying to clear the lane as soon as possible because we know how long Frederick to clear the lane, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Padab, actually, he he has the advantage here. So, if he, want, if he wants to make the rotation, I think it's, it's going to be easy for the Padab. And Bonnie, Ooh. it's going to be the, the prior target here from Philippines because they know how strong Popo Cooper, right? Exactly. Into the mid and the late game situation. In the meantime, on the other side of the map, Dapadap has all the mobility to survive from these ganks. So we talked about how the Diggy might be used for a babysit strategy, but Bonnie is not having a good Oof. time at all. And in the mid side, Time Journey has been popped up, and now that won't be available for any of the members. It is actually a stolen one used by Ima uh, Imam on the mid lane. Mm -hmm. but the Philippines are going hardcore on this top side. Yeah, I think they want to play really fast just by, you know, get the all up, get all the objective as soon as possible for Philippines. They don't want to they don't want to drag this game into the late game. You know how 
how scary Freya as well into the late game, right? He could be yep. he could be very very strong. He could be the first uh, the frontliner for Slovenia as well. I'm sure, fight starts to break out. The Philippines are going in, but you can see the first victim is going to be Clyde on the diggy. It's a double kill for Sorano. That will be Nissan falling down in the same time, and the purple buff yet again is denied away from the hands of the Slovenians. Yeah. And just like that, Nibush passion in the mid side. The pressure, the wave management from the Philippines is benefiting them so much. Yeah, we didn't see much, um, maybe war between these two teams because Philippines they want to play really objectively right now and Slovenia most of the draft here are going into the mid until the late game right mm -hmm. like this Freya but look at that those Oof. are you trying to a little bit forcing himself in the mid lane doing a lot of damage Clyde nearly gets taken out but look at the flank coming in from Arachio this will benefit them so much that is Del Rosario taken out disaster as the next target is going to be Villa Luna she makes it out of life from that situation though but the Sorano Double kill and actually continuing with that Nibiru. That's a lot of damage. You have to see how the items are here, but they are still not done just yet. The snipe is used, but it will Ooh. connect. That's a monster kill for Serrano. And the Philippines are able to take out three members for the price of none, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks very, very comfortable for Philippines. Like uh, if they keep their tempo like this, not trying to force themselves too much, I think they still can get this game. But Rimuru having a one versus two situation here, but Dapadap, oh, still able to survive or not, but no, he's going back with the Phantom Slash and oh, oh my god, for the Cloud, and he's able to be get shut down by Dapadap. Imam with the stolen time journey saves the life of Dapadap. And that is a disaster. They spent so much time. And in exchange, they actually lost Bonnie. Yet again, Sorano is a absolute menace right now with Oof. the Malefic War. These snipes are going to do so much damage. And that will not... Oh my god, that will not be a damage that Visao can actually take. And they're not done yet. Rimuru is the next target. And that's the Death Sonata being used. That's Imam securing the kill. And Philippines will continue their aggression. They're not backing away at all as Arachiel gets taken out. And the first base tower will be still standing for now. Yeah, it's like mm, maybe how much 9k gold lead? Is it 9k? Yeah, 9k gold lead by Philippines team here. So I think it's kind of a little bit hard for, for Slovenia. They don't have much space here to get their farm. And look at the item. Did Digi only have this dominance eyes? Meanwhile, Oof. from Zoriano, he already secured his Blade of Despair and Fury Hammer with the Malefic Roar for the attack penetration. That's a lot of damage comparatively. Popa and Koopa, not even the first BOD completed. Yep. Now, that's another yet again used for that engage. And Clyde is taken out just like that. He won't be able to save any of his teammates as the Philippines move for the base turret, but they back away. This is that discipline as Imam makes bold moves around the map. Yeah, he needs to copy that um, time journey from Clyde. And now the Oof. minion comes in in the bottom lane. Now all of the players from Slovenia need to maybe take back off a little bit. They have to, you know, try to defend their base before Philippines end this game. They have to try and find some kind of pickoff because against two marksmen, that's a lot of range first of all. And that is a lot of DPS, especially the longer the game goes. Yes, Granger isn't exactly a hyper carry in the late game, but Del Rosario with that Rhapsody has been doing insane Whoa. amounts of damage. And a lot of these fights are done on the back of that very well-timed Death Sonata. Here we go again. Rhapsody being used by Del Rosario. It won't be enough though, as the Slovenians try and strike back. Ooh. The Beerus Passion by Serrano oh. actually shuts down that aggression. There's a trade here. You can see that Villa Luna actually gets taken out and the Philippines they are unfazed completely. Everything is still under control. There's two members down from Slovenia. So against three, can they actually go for the end? Ultimate has been used right here. That's another used yet again. The slow cooldown is so beneficial. And the Philippines are going to try and stalk their way. Try and find chances to end the game. Imam goes in with that burst damage. And it seems like for now, they will not be able to end the game just uh -oh, yet. Oh, maybe they can because look at that. The minion lens comes in into the bottom lane and Oracle, they, he doesn't have any defense item to hold the damage that Philippine has right now with the Supreme. So uh, the so minion comes in in the mid lane right now. I think Philippines, they are able to finish this game as soon as possible. Soriano. And now Soriano being chased by Slovenia. Meanwhile, 
the Philippines, they want to target the best as soon as possible. They don't want to give more space, more time for Slovenia, but Slovenia are still able to defend their base, Arashi. They're defending their base so desperately, but the Philippines, they're playing it calculatively. They have range to work with, they have DPS to work with, and they're slowly but surely just melting down the health bars of the Slovenian players yet again. Dap Dap just kiting in and out, actually gaining HP in the process instead of losing it. Desonada is used for oh. poke yet again, and look at that burst damage. Imam is absolutely disgusting in this game. With four members still alive, they're doing a lot of damage, and Arachiel with the Vengeance will not be able to survive either. Double kill for Imam, and that might be just the game for the Philippines. In game number one, showing again dominance and world-class skill. Wow, 